What's going on? It's Matt Platt, but I am back with our new and improved dashboard for our clients. Yes, we've added one extra element to help our clients monitor their campaign results even better, even deeper. Let me back up a little. Let me show you what the dashboard was in the past. It's still there. It's just we kind of pulled out the most important elements and pulled it into a new one. So this is our dashboard that we've become famous for in the restaurant marketing world. It shows you everything. If you're a restaurant and you're able to see your ad exposure, what is happening with the ads, what it's driving database and sales, customer retention, things of that nature, that's huge. The problem we heard from a lot of our clients was it was almost too much data and them not being marketing geeks like me, they don't know how to decipher a lot of it and they wanted it a couple basic elements. Matt, how much have we spent? What's it driving? And what's the future of what it's driving? So let's go ahead and look at this real quick. Before I dig into the three elements, down here along the bottom, you'll see that is our main scorecard. That's our metric, the three places that we're judging the campaign results on based off of the spin. Total cost the client has spent in the program between us and Facebook and Instagram. The annual impact the database has on their, their restaurant or can have. The ROI, what's the impact divided by the cost? And then most importantly, what's it costing to get somebody to walk into the door the first time? So. Our program has three main elements, getting awareness, building a database, and driving sales. So let's talk about getting awareness. So number one, we're using social media, organic and paid, to drive people to specific posts to have certain actions. In this case, this client over the past almost four months has seen 172,043 impressions, and they've had 3,898 engagements. So we're using social media to get people to engage. And if you look at this, that's one location restaurant in Florence, Kentucky. The fact that almost 4,000 people engaged in what we're putting in front of them is pretty impressive. Now, here's what's more impressive about it is those engagements have led to this, a database. And not only a database, but an active database. So number one, we've got 1,958 messenger and email opt-ins. If you don't know what I'm talking about with Messenger, that's a different video. I've got plenty of them on YouTube. We're talking 90% open rates, 40 to 60% engagement rates. It's email from 20 years ago. And if you're not using it, you're missing out. But our clients are in the ROI engine. So in this case, 1,958 opt-ins. Now, there's nothing good about an opt-in if they don't take an action. So look below. Of those 1,958, 646 of them, or 32.99%, have physically walked into the restaurant and spent money. We'll get to that in a second. And then of those, 1958, 161 of them have come back a second or third time. They've returned visits. So 8% have come back. Well, let's look at the sales aspect because we're not only trying to drive people in with promotions, we're trying to drive them in in the future. So there is some element of us not knowing how many times they're going to come back after, but our goal as marketers is pretty simple. Get exposure, grow a database, and prove we can get them to walk in and spend good money in your restaurant. After that, it's your experience, your menu, uh, the marketing, the engagement, things after that are what bring them back. And so when we look at this, we got 32.99%, almost 33% to redeem one offer. After that, we're up to 807 total redemptions, which is our first redeem and return visits. In the past four months, trackable sales of $12,017 with an average net, average net check after the discount of $1,489, which is higher than their typical average check. So when we come down here to the bottom, let's talk about what this is. So with all of our clients, we start off with an expectation of gained visits. So when you look at annual impact, what we've done here is we've asked the customer, how many times does somebody eat at Rapid Fired Pizza in Florence on an annual basis? I happen to know because I live near it. We eat there probably 20 times a year. I'm a minimum. Well, how many times can we get a first person, first time visitor to come back based on experience, product, all that good stuff? And then how many times can we increase a current customer coming back? Because if you have their data and their information, you can reach back out to them about dessert pizzas and Super Bowl and catering and birthdays and uh, new toppings and new product launches, LTOs you can get them back more often. We came up with a number of like 12, but we went ahead and said, you know what, cut that in half. We're gonna base this annual impact on six visits. So what this number here means, annual impact, 
is that we're looking at this database, 1,958, of which 32.99% have come into the restaurant at least once. So if we can get 32.99% of these people, 1,958, to come back an average of six times, whether it's new visits or multiple, you know, more visits, and spend fourteen eighty nine on what they already are, that's going to impact your bottom line by $60,000. This is only four months of data. Let's say I'm half wrong. The client spent three grand to get this. Let's say I'm half wrong. Let's say it's only 30000 That's still a 10 to 1 ROI. So what we're looking at here is the total cost, 3059 Annual impact, 60575 It's a 19 to 1 return on investment. Now, over here, this acquisition cost is a really important metric. We judge this to get an idea of what it costs us to drive somebody in. So what this is, is this 3059 divided by the people who walked in the restaurant that first visit. So if I take my good old calculator out, divided by 646, that is not right, 3059 divided by 646. Yeah, so 646, I just wanted to make sure, I was pretty sure that's what it was because I wanted to make sure I have a typo there. This acquisition cost is based off of the first visit, not multiple. So what's it costing us to get somebody in the first time through the program? $4.73. In my mind, that's pretty impressive from what I've seen other marketing efforts do, but it's also up to the client based on what they're looking to accomplish. So here it is, the client dashboard, and this is how we're helping you, restaurant owners and marketers who work with restaurant owners, track what you're doing for your clients because at the end of the day, it's all about ROI. And if you're not using your marketing efforts to grow a database and then use that database to drive trackable sales, then you're losing out. Now, one thing I do hear from people is, Matt, what if we don't know they're coming back a second or third time? Well, you know what? That's not on us as marketers. That is on the restaurant operator. That if I can get you somebody to walk in and spend good money, it's up to you to take care of their food, the service, the environment, to get them back again. And I've got no doubt the clients we're working with are doing that. So I know our annual impact is a lot of times on this sheet way low. And we're making a big difference in helping restaurants grow their bottom line and put butts in the seats. I'll see you around.